Hello my dear students, welcome all of you in our PPS video lecture series. I am Professor Bhumi Patel from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our previous lectures, we are already started our fifth module, user defined functions and the most of the topics are covered like first is the introduction and elements of functions and there are three different elements function declaration, definition and call that we have to remember for making any of the user defined function program. Second one is the different categories of function. So, you can write program using different different way using four different category. Then third one is the parameter passing techniques and now the fourth one that we are discussed today that is storage class. So, here there are four different storage class are there. First is a automatic register, then third is a static variable and fourth is a extend. These four categories are now depends on these three different term. So, first term is a scope, second is a visibility and third is a lifetime. So, scope, visibility and according to the lifetime, the four different storage class are there that we have seen in a first. Now, start with the first scope and the definition is just like it is the region of program where the variable is actually available for use. So, if you remember in our program we are writing with opening brackets and end with a curly brackets close clear. So, this is nothing but our area and in which we are writing some declaration part of variable. Suppose I am writing like integer a, then a has an area between these two bracket that is known as scope clear. So, scope is of type 2 local and global. So, if you are writing variable inside these two bracket then it is known as local variable for that particular area and when you are writing any variable outside of this area outside of this brackets that is possible in our global declaration sections that we are already discussed in our second module in a structure of C program that is before the void main clear. So, it is now becomes global variables. So, the scope is two types local and global. Then second is a visibility. Visibility means the accessibility of variable from the memory. So, it if the variable is available in a memory then and then we can access it clear and that we can say visible. Then third one is a lifetime. So, the word is time, time means the period during which our variable retains its value until the end of program. The meaning is what if we are going outside of particular functions then also that particular variable retains its value or destroy it that depends on a lifetime of that particular variables clear. So, this term you have to remember when you are using different storage class. The first one is a auto. So, the full form is automatic means when you are writing variable like integer a then by default it is considered as a auto. So, if you write like auto integer a or simple integer a both are same and the automatic variables are of type local variables and it assigned as a default storage class. Second is a register. Now, when you are writing integer a then it store the value of variable a in a memory, but when we are using register integer a then the value of a will be now stored in a particular register instead of memory. Third is a static, static means when the program is completed then and then that particular variable value will be destroyed until the program stop it retains its value it does not destroy that is the meaning of static and last one is a external external means full form is external means it is a outside of it and we can say like global variables clear so let's understand first in a details the difference between local and global variables so the local variables means inside particular function and global means it is a outside of all the function. 
second difference is what when we are writing like integer a in a void main and we are not assigned any value then the default value of a will be considered as a garbage value means any of the value like 25 or 65 or 2000 any but when we are writing it in a global declarations integer a then the default value for a global variable is zero or it depends on a data type now the third difference is what the use of local variable is advisable because it becomes easy to understand but when you are using more global variables then what happened the program executions become complex it difficult to understand how so suppose we are writing in a void main integer a and before void main we are writing integer a then two things are different inside void main it is local and before void main it is global so integer a that is global now will be used in a different different functions then how it can be changed how the updated value of a will be work that becomes complex clear and the next one is what the example here how we can write it so here in a void main we are writing the variable simple integer a that is local because inside the curly brackets and then we are printing the value of a then in that case the our output is what the by default value of any local variable is what garbage so just here something we are printing like two five six seven eight now in a global variables we have to declare it in a before void main so before void main we are writing like integer a that is global variable and inside void main we are printing the value of a then what happened the output is just like a equals 0 clear so this is about local and global variable now move to our main topic that is the difference between auto and static variables let's take one example here the declaration part is first for a function test that is void test inside void main we have to write function call and here i am writing function call three times after void main now our function is just like void test inside it we are writing two storage class first is a auto integer a equals zero and second that is static integer b equals zero and then we are increment the value of a and b by using operator a plus plus and b plus plus and then we are printing the value of a and b now what is the output of this program so first execute this program and first function call will be there like test so our cursor move to the function definition test first is a auto and the meaning of auto storage class is what the scope of that particular variable is inside that functions when we are come out of these functions the variable will be destroyed means the value of a will be destroyed because of type auto and the second is what static static means what the b variable value will not be destroyed until the end of our program clear so these two things you have to remember and just see the output so in that case a is zero and b is zero right now so a will be incremented and becomes one and b is also incremented that becomes one and now print the both the value so in that case our output is just like a equals one b equals one and now come back to our void main so second time the function call is there so again it move on to the function definition and when we are moving inside functions again the auto is there so the a value that becomes one will be destroyed and now new value will be allocated to a that is zero and b retains its value because of static so b value is one that will be stored not a zero clear so when we are executing a plus plus a becomes zero no a becomes one because the by default value is zero but b becomes two because it retains its original value from the previous so one plus one it becomes two so our final output is just like a equals one 
b equals 2. Now come back to the void main and again the third time function is called. So third time auto integer a equals 0 means the previous value of a will be destroyed and the new value is 0. In a static the b is 0 but it retains the previous value so b is 2. And now increase the both the value so a becomes 1 and b becomes 3. So our final output is just like a equals 1 and b equals 3. So when we are executing 3 times the functions the final output we are getting like a will be same 1 1 1 but the b value is just like 1 2 and 3. So this is the difference between auto and static and the last topic of this unit is macro and preprocessing. Now the word preprocessing means when we are processing any of the statements before compilations then it is known as preprocessing and the statements that start with a has is known as preprocessors clear so here there are three different preprocessor directives first one is a file inclusion directives according to the name now here we can include our header files so let's see here the example has include stdio.h second example has include string.h likewise that suppose you want to add mathematical function in your program then you have to include the file like math.h clear so this is what file inclusion directives second is a macro substitution directives the word macro means what it is nothing but the single line functions when you are writing the logic of functions that we are already discussed in our previous video how we can write the functions so when you are putting the logic of function in a single statements it is known as macro and here i am taking the example like has defined pi 3.14 means when your value is fixed constant then you can also use macro so when this statement is executed in your program the pi value will be replaced with a 3.14 clear and second example is just like has defined max 100 so when your program has a word max then it replace the max with a 100 clear and the third one is a compiler control directives the example is just like has if has else we are writing just if else but when you are putting has sign then it converted into the preprocessor clear so this is about the macro and preprocessing here our module is completed i hope you guys understand this concept very well if you like this video then thumbs up if you think this video will help some of your friends then do share this video with them also you can subscribe my channel so when i upload new video you get a notification thank you if you have any doubt feel free contact me